welcome back to the Phantom Games 117 YouTube channel here with episode 4 of Stardew Valley. And we're picking up right where we left off. Literally been 5 seconds since I last, since I stopped the recording. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue playing. Oh wow, we got some harvesting to do. Yeah, we got harvesting to do. Which makes me happy. And those are really not done yet. Take, those things take forever. Let's go ahead and water what we have now. What's with all the weird pink leaves in the air? I don't have any pink trees around here, I don't know if that makes any sense. Not that I mind, I like the way it looks, of course. It's a little confused. Alright, so I've watered all the plants that we have left at the moment. Now I'm going to put all of these in there. And hopefully we make bank off of those. Now I did say that we are going to check out the mine in this episode, so we are going to check it out. And I'm not going to put our forageables and the thing unless we get double because I want to save all of our forging stuff for the community center let's save the forgeables for the community center because I do not want to overfill it well because I'd rather get the that one done quickly we can probably do that in the like the seed plant one pretty quickly. I think anyway. Alright, line us a little. Okay, so we got horseradish. Where's this lead? No, we're special. Okay. Man, I am hungry. I have no idea what time it is, but I'm starving. Like, in real life, I'm, like, really hungry. We'll check out the mine, just not yet. Just want to make sure that that wasn't misinterpreted. Alright, so... That leads to my farm. I, this leads to my farm, right? This thing up here. Where does this lead? Over the highway. Oh, this leads into my farm. Is this a cave? What is this? What can I do with the cave? I just realized that this was here. There's also a building here. It's probably a barn of some sort. Okay. Flip back into town now. We have a good amount of money on us. Just about 2,000 more. And we can, just about 22 more coins. And we can go ahead and... You know... So we do have a quest. What do we have here? Sebastian would like to hire someone to fetch eel. You will be paid for your time. Eel. That's a lot of gold. I have to take the quest even though I don't fish. I will probably fish soon. Emily's birthday. We got an egg festival. Then we got a flower dance coming. Alright, so Vincent, I gotta get you something on your birthday, bud. I'll let him see that. 
<laughs> Everyone's just slowly piecing together that I d dig through their garbage like, you know, our trash started going missing after he moved here. <laughs> Sorry, that's just a little amusing to me. Hello. Elliot, a great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it, but if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. That is true, actually. That is very true, actually. It's surprising that he said that. I thought that guy was going to be an idiot, to be honest, but maybe he's a little smart. Maybe I should give him some more credit. Hey, would you like a field snack? I'm not a huge fan of this. That's fine with me, I just needed it for my freaking journal. Oh, oh my god, I have two days for that. Alright, 100 gold, and we can now get the backpack. The, 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 W. I'm tired of walking around with no inventory space. We are buying this backpack. Even if it bloody kills me, we're getting this backpack. Thank God. What am I looking at in there? We got the large pack. Your inventory space has increased to 24. Nice. Um, hello. <laughs> Exercising can be fun. She's gonna keep saying the same thing. Oh, look, I'm all red and sweaty. I heard that Lewis showed you around the community center. It'd be great if you could fix that place up. It used to be a really nice building. My arms are strong, but my legs need work. So we do have to fix up the community center, right? But when does that get involved? Because from what we've played so far, that has not happened yet. Does me doing those things build up the community center again? Is that what happens? Marnie smiles at you through the mist of her sweat. Ugh, breathe in. Ugh, out. Jody. Having fun there? Alright, we need... Well, I might have to sell some of this stuff. Because I need seeds. Let's get this planting. I know I'm a little broke now, but I think it's worth it personally. She's probably in the bar now. But let's check her house anyway. I'm an idiot. We already know where she's at. I got the saloon. Oh, no one here. Alright, let's go around the wizard area. Because that's probably where Abigail is. Soggy newspaper. Let's get ourselves some forageables, shall we? Some horseradish. Let's take some trees down real fast. Gonna need wood at some point. Then we get pine cones for this. tree and then we'll stop with the wood. Alright, I don't see anything. Oh, 
what is this? Looks abandoned. I'm sure this comes into play at some point. Maybe someone moves here and this is where they move to. Who knows? Some more horseradish. And then there's the sewer. Got a spring onion. Got three spring onions. A lot of litter down there. Got a dandelion. Well, I'm glad we went exploring down here because I'm pretty sure spring onions that we're definitely going to have to use in the thing. But we picked up three of them so we can sell some of them. So she's not around here. Hello. Hello, neighbor. We both live outside of town. Does that mean something? Maybe Leah. I wouldn't mind dating Leah either. I don't know. And these, my biggest complaint about farming games is that they always expect you to marry someone. And I never feel like we actually get to know the character. They always feel kind of like the same characters, you know? Not sure if I'm explaining that right or not. Right, let's head to the bar and see if we run into Abigail. I hope so, because we have not talked to her today yet. Okay. We have an event. Linus is digging through the trash. Wheelchair guy. Sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do it only out of favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. <laughs> it was me, I'm sorry. Find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. You think there's something wrong with that I'm doing? No, but you should probably get a job and stop le leeching off of others. <sighs> not everyone's cut out for this world, Phantom. You don't know what it's like to be me. I'm not harming anyone. I just want to live life my own way. Is that so wrong? I guess not. You can go home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. What you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. Oh, that's kind of super sweet in a way. That's pretty sweet. That's funny. Not funny, but it's just sweet. Alright, hello everyone. 
I work part time. I guess the saloon pays the bills. I guess. I, I already know that. I, I'm talking to you right here, dude. Come on, come on, game. I have not seen Abigail once today, which makes me feel weird. I haven't seen Maro either, actually. So I don't think I've seen Maro. Pretty sure I haven't, though. Hoping to see them because I think you have to talk to them like every day if you want to like deepen your relationship with them. I don't know how it works exactly. Wait, shit. Let's do this first. those in there. Perfect. All right, let's get inside and go to sleep. All right, go to sleep. We made some good money. Made we made eight hundred and fifty-eight gold today, so we're not too shabby. Now we're on the tenth day of spring in year one. 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes into this episode. Oh my god, we got a girl and a dog! Is a dog ours? Hello, Phantom. You see this dog here? Whoa, my dog can hear that dog. Hey, Ralphie, get back. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray dog, poor thing. Hey, it seems like this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good dog? Hell yes, I'm adopting the dog. Shoki. No. We're naming the dog... Dog Meat. I'm a big Fallout fan, so we're naming the dog Dog Meat. I know it's a messed up name, but if you don't like Fallout, I guess you won't get it. Dog Meat. Well, Dog Meat, you, mu you be a good pooch now, okay? We got a freaking dog, bro. We no longer live alone on this farm. Will it be attacked by monsters at night, though? Okay, so it saves him here. Oh, it's a, oh my god, we got a dog, bro. My life in this game is now complete. When will this thing grow? Like, it's taking forever. Go ahead and do some watering. And this is our first batch of crops that has fertilizer as well. So I'm curious to see how that turns out. I expect that means it'll have like a scar next to it or something. Build that all up. Uh, 
Let's go ahead and put the fertilizer away. And we gotta go. Let's go ahead and do some foraging and buy some seeds to plant because I want the money to keep rolling in. Because we still don't have a good amount of money. We also gotta go see the carpenter about the coop. It says there's a dog in that cage thing, but there's not a dog in there. It irritates me every time I walk by there and there's no dog. Here we got a daffodil. There's a second daffodil, which means we are going to make a little bit of gold today. Lots of foraging. I want to take another look at this, these lists real quick. Take a look at the list again. Okay, so I can actually do this right now. Okay, um, then winter. Wasn't there a fishing one before? I guess not. I thought there was a fishing one. I'm wrong. Sorry. Alright. Well, I think I can go ahead and do the spring one now if I want to. So, after we finish with whatever we need to do today, we're going to head back, get all of our stuff, and go ahead and exchange it. Go ahead and exchange it. Set up here. I guess we'll go ahead and do the mine now. Otherwise, I might not ever get to it. We got the leak. I think we were missing a leak, so now we can do it. Kind of funny how that worked out. Alright, got another leak down here, which means we are going to make even more gold now. Alright, I'm set up through here. Where the mine is. Well, let's check around here real quick just to make sure that there's no forgeables. Still can't enter. I think I have to... Oh, this is where the bridge is. This is what I was talking about in the last episode. I do think I have to enter the mine for that to activate. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yep, I remember him. I've seen him a couple times. Hmm. I've seen him either in a Let's Play or like one of the times I did play through this game a little bit. I don't know. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid. Ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Got a sword, baby. You received a rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep an eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Alright. So, interesting. Explore the mine. Reach level 5 in the mine shaft. Check this out. All right, so nothing really so far.
Found some quartz. Got some copper. That's good because we definitely need copper. What's with the Minecraft music now? Try opening that. Maybe that's what I need to do. Hello. a minute. That's some coal. That's some copper ore. Okay, got bug meat. Okay, so you want to use the sword on that. Grateful for all the copper I'm finding. What is this? Earth crystal. Interesting. So that's level three. This is level four. With as much copper as we're getting now, we're going to be able to, uh, we're gonna be able to make a furnace soon. Just gonna eat these snacks here. More copper here. Get this copper. Didn't know you could do that. Die. I feel like this is procedurally generated, is it not? Okay, so we're reached level 5, which means we can now use what I assume is the elevator. Some more slimes to deal with here. There we 
go. It is super dark in here. Oh shit. Got a cherry bomb. Hello, slime friend. Not sure if we can break this or not, but we can, and we got a bunch of stone out of it. But I think that's as far as we're going to explore in the cave system for now. Like, no ore on this floor for some reason. Alright, let's go up. Let's go up top here. Wow, we were there way longer than I wanted to be. I guess let's go to the saloon and try to say hi to people. of rare and powerful magic rings forged long ago by forgotten civilizations. I'm not sure if it's true or just a fairy tale. Well, not in this game so far, I'd say I'll say it's true. Okay, what else is here? Alright, so we're not going to do the trading thing Tonight, we'll do it in the morning, after we water our plants. Alright, let's go to sleep. We eat all our field snacks, so we should probably have tried to do that. Okay, so we got level 2 in farming, watering camp proficiency, hoe proficiency. We can now craft stone fences, and we can now craft mayonnaise machine, and we can now craft sprinklers. I love the sprinkler idea. Level 1 in mining, level 1 pickaxe proficiency, new crafting recipe, cherry bomb. Interesting. Alright, so we need a, a little bit of cash. Not a lot, though, considering I didn't put everything in the basket, sadly. Alright, the dog is out of the house. And he is laying asleep up here. There you go, buddy. Do I actually have to water the dog's bowl? That's both awesome and irritating all at the same time. Alright, spot of this, spot of that. Dude, when is this stuff gonna grow? Especially the bean one here, because that thing's been there forever now. Cauliflower's taking forever too.
Yeah, now I have mail, buddy. I'm just taking care of some things first. Alright. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurer spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marlin. Okay. Missing. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250 gold in it for whoever finds the thing. Robin. I'll 100% do that. It's an easy quest for me. Alright, so we got mixed seeds. We got an earth crystal. Okay, donate to the museum. Okay, Gunther can tell me about it. Alright, so... We need that. We need that. We need that. You can sell the coral as well. Now, I know that we can go ahead and build the furnace now. Problem is I have no idea where I want to put the damn thing. I'll put it there for now. What do I do with it? put this away for now. I think I just put it away by accident. Yep, I want to make seed. Holding the wrong thing. Alright, let's do this again real quick. Just because I can at the moment. So let's head into town. We have any forageables on the way. And let's go ahead and trade in the spring thing, shall we? At the community center. I'm really enjoying playing this game right now. I was only going to do three episodes today, but I might record an extra one. Because I'm having quite a bit of fun right now. I'm very much enjoying the game. Community center. All right, bundle complete. Spring seeds. 30 seeds! They gave me 30 seeds! Holy crap! 
That's a lot of stuff I just got. Wow. Okay, what? Whoa, okay, what's going on? Okay. I assume that means you'll repair that room. Reward greenhouse. Spring crops bundle. Okay. Interesting. Alright, what about this one? This one's probably got fishing stuff, huh? Yeah, river fish. Alright, so we're we are gonna have the fish if we want to complete this area, I guess. I think maybe we'll dedicate the next episode to trying some fishing out. But not this episode. These spring onions apparently I don't need. Oh no, I think my dad's going to cook dinner tonight. What's wrong with your dad cooking dinner? Would you like a leak? Never mind, it's probably a good thing. I would have ruined any chance I had with her if I gave her a leak. <laughs> Alright, we need to find her axe as well. Need red mushroom for my latest project. Help. Do I have a time frame on that? Two days. <coughs> Alright, so we need to find her lost axe. Lost her axe the last time she remembers seeing it. She was... Coming woods south of Marnie's Ranch. Okay, so I figured that's where I had to go anyway, actually. Okay, so I need to find a red mushroom, but I have not seen any red mushrooms, so I'm not sure if I'm able to find them for her or not. We have some geodes to extract, and I have some things for the museum, so let's go take care of that. There's a daffodil. Late. Okay, so we got clay. Okay, so we got clay out of that. We also got slate. And that's another thing for the museum. So we got three things for the museum. So that's nice. Excited that I might be helping out a little bit here around here. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Eureka. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. i got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Seems like a deal to me. Think about it, will ya? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I will 100% be donating items to ya, good sir. Hello. Donate to museum. Let's do the earth crystal thing. Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better go out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? I guess I wanted to talk to you, the man. 
I guess we're good. For right now. Um. So, what else did I want to do today? Hello. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Sorry, I got carried away there. That's cool. Would you like this? Thanks, this looks nice. You're welcome, Penny. So, she said something about a library. I have not seen a library here. Where's the library at? So I do need to give her another gift, but I don't think I want to give her a leak or something, you know? I hope you're farming in a sustainable way. The valley's ecosystem is fragile. How do I know? I have a strong gut feeling. You already said this. I think you said this yesterday. How strange. Alright, so we're going to go down to the beach real quick and get any pickups there. And then we're going to head out and try to find her axe. And then we're going to go plant all the rest of our seeds. And then that's when we'll end this episode. So we got clams. Archaeology. Got some gold for that. Nice. Ar take the muscle here. All right, so we got a muscle and we got two clams now. Got a third clam. Got some coral. Oh right, we got some stuff to sell. Now let's go look for the axe. And then we definitely gotta get the planting. Looks like the rain's starting to pick up again, so I'm going to end the recording here real quick, and I'll pick up in a second. Sorry, I have to do that because one time the power went out, and I lost all my footage, and the progress saved, and it screwed me over, so. And then another time. But yeah, basically that's what happens. And if you're in the middle of recording, that'll happen anyway. Okay, we got a new event. Ew, it smells. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has got to be a match for that big rusty key. There's something moving around in there. Is it a slime? Wouldn't surprise me if it's a slime. Okay. Alright, so we have to talk to Gunther about maybe letting us down there. Alright. Now to forge and stuff while we're down here. Alright, hello there. I saw a dandelion. Man, it keeps getting stuck. I hate that. I don't like that at all. It's annoying. I wish this would just be fluid. Still looks abandoned. Okay. Let's go up here because this led us to a place that had a lot of forgeables last time. So, this is actually where the sewer is, funny enough. Oh, that's a lot of stuff here. Some onion. Oh, 
What's that sound? All right, so we got spring onions and all that stuff. All right, um, oh, I found the axe. Awesome. You found the lost axe, better return it to Robin. Except for the fact that I genuinely have no idea where she's at. Like, I have not seen her house yet. But I need to check up with her anyway for the, uh... So that we can look at house upgrades and stuff. Is that Leah or is that Robin? Well, not Robin, but... That's Leah. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area if you know where to look. Well, I do know where to look. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. She's been making fresh salads with the spring onion, huh? Huh. Go say hello to the old wizard guy, I guess. Here, may as well. There are many mysteries around us. You must be patient if you wish to discover them. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and... Where is her house at? Oh wait, is she married? Why is this being so irritating? She's married to the guy that... Is she Mara's mom? Or is she married to her dad? I don't remember. But I think she is. I don't know. I'm a little confused now, to be honest. I've confused myself. That happens sometimes. Hello, Sam. The clouds look great this time of year, don't they? Yes, they do. Alright, so let's try to say hi. If I see her out here, I don't want to say hi because I would like to find her residence first because I want to talk to her. I want to talk business as well. I want to talk numbers with her. I don't think they came up here yet, so that's, that's actually a good thing. Might be a couple forgeables for me to grab before I head back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, her place. I'm not sure though. I could be 100% wrong. I genuinely have no idea where she lives. All right. Well, let's go ahead and head back to my farm. Let's head back to my farm, plant our seeds, and then we'll end the episode. Make sure I get all this in here first. Actually, I did find quite a bit of stuff. Need this basic fertilizer.
We have the sap back now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, all right. Okay, so I need one more. And then Blammo. It is getting late. What does that sound? Go away. How many things have to hit you? Thank you. Let's go to sleep. We stayed up a very long time. Necessary in my opinion. Okay. Level 3 in foraging plus 1 axe proficiency. And tapper, which means we can get sap from trees, which is what I'm assuming. Because, you know, tapper. I know about that. And then we have a unlimited supply of sap. And we can make unlimited... Um, uh... Damn it. You know what I mean. Alright, so we made 834 gold just based off foraging alone, pretty much. Based. That's all I gotta say. Alright. So. What is that? Okay. Um. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Stardew Valley. If you did enjoy, make sure to slap the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. I am out. Peace, guys.